Yo champions, meet the Glazed and the Glazer. These two are claiming to be the best comfy Zoroark duo in NA. You guys already know how this goes, but for those that don't, I gathered 8 subscribers from my Discord, put them all into a custom match, and we're going to see, once and for all, if Rust and Windmill are the best Zoro comfy duo in NA. Champions, all of my content involve you guys, so if you want to be involved in the next video, all you have to do is smash that subscribe button and join the Discord. If you're tired of your solo queue teammates dropping 17k on Asian, this is the place for you. We do daily custom matches and fun community events every week but without further ado take care and enjoy the rest of the video champions okay game one is now underway of course Zorak is going to be going in the jungle which lane is the comfy going in okay comfy's going to be in top lane so 100 the Zorak will be going top lane after they are done in their jungle um but they are with a magic carp so this is a very weak lane so magic carp needs to make i don't know man there needs to be a miracle in this top lane. They need to get some last hits. Okay, speaking of last hits, Comfy actually did secure um, that bundle be So Kram is going to draw first blood on the nine toss. We might as well spectate bot lane for now because we're going to see both junglers making their way into the top lane. Uh, we see Zero is already there. Crustle needs to retreat. Needs to be a bit, um, bit more cautious. Okay, Zero Or is ready to wreak some havoc. Okay, here comes Zorak. Yep, there's the Comfy. Okay, the combo is... Yeah, okay, the combo is active now. And they are both online. So, the birds are going to be spawning here now. They should be able to get most of this because... Oh, what's happening? Oh, Zorak's doing this, the combo slowly. Okay. Get some okay damage on the Zero. Not a lot. I didn't take a look at his builds. I don't know if they're stacking. Okay, nicely done. Takes out the Zero. Okay, so one thing already. He's consistent with these combos because... There's been multiple times, right, where we where we spectated Zoro players and they're just missing combos and they're just not really doing much. Okay, Magic Up should be evolving soon. Is, there, is Zoro going to engage on the Azu? Okay, they are. Oh, Comfy needs to attach. Needs to be careful. Okay. Attaches onto the Magic Up. I know that was not intentional. They want to keep their duo alive for as long as possible. Squirtle is up against a Crustle and an A9. Crustle tries to take the berry, but... Um, was that 100% HP? The wall going to take out the squirrel. Okay, so... Bot lane's not looking too good. Okay, Zorak was purposely waiting for the Comfy before they can engage on the a and they should be able to take them out quite easily. Yeah. Okay, so this is a good start for them. Gonna get another stack in. Okay. Oh, Comfy. Okay, Comfy's on 1 HP, so the next time they detach, that might be the end of Comfy. Oh, Zoro. Yeah, that's easy. I like the way the Zoro is playing as well, by the way. They're not like spam attacking the faint attack. They're actually, <clears throat> they're actually taking their time with it. You know, faint attack. Uh, are they using Cut or Shadow Claw? Which one is that? I don't know. You guys can tell me. <laughs> I don't play Zoro. I don't know what the moves look like. I think he's using Shadow Claw. I think that's Shadow Claw. Okay. Uh, we're seeing Azu and who else is up there in top lane? Azu and Gerard is in a 1v1. Gerard is actually might be able to win this. Pops to eject, but Azu pops to X speed. Zora coming in. I'm surprised Zora is opting for top lane. I mean, there is quite a bit of farm here. Uh, and he's probably finishing getting his stacks in as well. Okay. Nicely done. Stopping the Zero from getting the 30, but Zora is still going to get in nonetheless. And Kafei going to dunk in as well. War Turtle trying to X speed away. Comfy. X attack. Comfy, by the way. I just realized it now. I have only just noticed that as an X attack comfy. Holy. Okay. Zoro's still in top lane, just lurking in the bush. Okay, I'm going to TP back to base. That's going to be a free objective for the um, orange team as well. Okay, pearl team. They're trying their best to take out this Azu and Crustle. They take out the Azu with ease, actually. Okay. With the top objective up, let's head over into the purple team's VC and let's listen to their callouts. Uh, I shouldn't have the mic in right now. Can you guys hold Yeah, I don't know what's happening with that. <sighs> nice, nice. Okay, not much happening in the VC, but Gerudus is carrying the boat right now. Honestly, stopping all of them from dunking. Gets only one kill there, however, but that was absolutely phenomenal from the Gerudus. So, purple team 
can actually... Um, they can lose this Regi Leki and let it go in. Just so we can get a 19 overcap. But no one's attacking the Regi Leki. Looks like ROC want to break this with their own points. So that Regi Leki can push their tier 2. And there goes the cross of Dunk. Going to get the 20 in. But honestly, that was phenomenal gameplay by the Gyarados. And honestly, not much being said on the VC. Everyone's just... Don't know if they're shy or just not... Not talkative in VCs, but... There was basically no communication from anyone, actually. It's just a bunch of solo queue players just in the VC. Okay, Cross is doing a good job at zoning them out and just being a tank. I don't see Cross getting taken out any moment. Okay, let's as a unite. Okay, Zoro. We'll get some good damage in. Okay, Clefable gets the close combat on there, unite, but not going to connect with anyone. Ooh. Okay, Zoro combos. Oh, but the Zero Aura Wild Charge going to shut him down. Comfy is going to be able to escape, however. Blastoise still doesn't have a Unite move, and so... And, and same thing with the Comfy. Okay, uh, Blastoise finally having that Unite. I think Comfy needs to do just a little bit of farming and not just, you know, uh, ride Zoro the whole game, because they do need to get a Unite move. Okay, speaking of Unite, Comfy finally gets it. Okay, going to attach onto the Gyarados. Crampop's Unite move. Takes out the Azu. Zero Aura is going to be the next one to fall, but Zero Aura going to take another person out with them before they get taken out themselves. So nicely done uh, by the Zoro. Meanwhile, in bot lane, what Reggie is it? Regirock again? Okay, Regice. Okay. But yeah, the reason why I dive into um, their VCs and listening is because I've been reading you guys' comments and what you guys have been telling me on Discord. And you guys enjoy it when I do head over into their VCs so you can listen to their callouts and their communication, but... It does suck sometimes when they're not calling out anything at all as we experience now, but... Let's head over into the Orange Team's VC and hope that they're a little bit more lively. Okay, guys, guys literally we got this. We got this, literally. We're shredding, we're yeah. shredding, we're shredding. I'm gonna check for bushes, back. I'm gonna check for... I'm gonna face check bushes. Nice, I'm back now, I'm back now. Alright, he's right here, he's right here. Oh, help me shred, help me shred, I'm the only one attacking. Yo. You're gonna get it. Alright, help me. There you go. Good job, guys. We literally are doing so well right now. Alright, let's go. This lock is literally so bad. Don't stop taking the fucking piss, chat. Can we, like, like, nah, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alright, let's go. Let's I think, I think the Barak is, like, not even that good. It's the comfy that just makes him, like, look good. The comfy isn't even. I've seen the comfy detach so many times. The boss is out of position. Boss is out of. It, like, this guy is not giving this guy the solo head treatment, bro. <laughs> nah, what? How comfy, bro. Bro said he's Guys, like, oh, it is 228. Do not ult. Okay, on that note, I will be heading out of their VC. I'm the claiming that um, the Zoro isn't good and that the comfy's making him look good, but also saying that the comfy isn't giving him the solo Q head treatment, whatever that means. Blasto is popping the Unite at 211. For race balls, get rid of us as well. Okay, if they can get some kills, this will be huge. Quick intermission champions, thank you so much for the endless support you guys have been showing on my channel. We've been consistently hitting over 100 likes this entire week. So thank you so much to you guys. Huge shout out to my subscribers. Without you guys, none of these videos would be possible. So I greatly appreciate every single one of you. But without further ado, English or Spanish? Baby, you got something in your nose. Sniffing that K. Did you feel the hole? Hope you find peace for yourself. New boyfriend ain't gonna fill the hole. Do you even really like this track? Though, they need to get kills if they want any of these Unites to be beneficial. Okay, three of them have been taken out, actually. Hold on. Clefable and Crossfield are the only ones left alive. Oh my god, hang on. Have they underestimated them? Clefable needs to get Fly or something. What did they get? Oh my god, Clefable. They shredded it in time. Oh my. Those Unites weren't for nothing. Okay, but can they break shields? Crossfield? Needs to stall. Can break? Okay, that's one shield gone. Okay. Orange team can still win this, but they just need... They need to break shields. Okay. There's the X attack. Cram's going to jump out. Yeah, Comfy's going to be able to get that dunk in. Zoro's going to get double united. Can they take out the Zoro at least? Zoro needs to die here. Ooh, there's a unite from Comfy as well. Zoro, oh, wild charge. Oh, my God. Zoro takes him out. Oh, it's not looking good. Look at the score as well. They're 400 points behind. There's nothing they can do anymore. I mean, there's one minute left on the clock, but they're not getting any kills, are they? Honestly, that was a good decision by the purple team to just all of them pop United moves and just take them all out and then start shredding the Ray. Because that's all that this game... like that, That's all that matters. It's just Ray. Honestly. 
Zoro's trying to get even more ducks as well. Pops a Unite move. Can they take him out? Nah, the comfy just keeping him alive. Oh, we engaging? Hmm. What's what's the play here though? There's 40 seconds left on the clock. They're not getting any kills. Gerdas has a unite move as well. Zero all can only do so much by themselves. Okay, Cram gets taken out. 30 seconds left. Zoro getting more dunks. Yikes. Yeah, that's gonna be GG's. Cross was trying his best to get some points in as well. Gonna put in an extra 28 points. But I think that is going to be G. Not even I think. That is going to be GG's for the first match. We're gonna let them just play this one out. Use their Unite moves. Zoro finally gets taken out. Comfy's gonna fall next as well, of course. And yeah, that's going to be it for the first match. There are the stats for the first game. Zoro getting nine kills and the MVP, of course. Okay, dropping 73k damage. I would have thought they would have dropped more. Comfy with the 65k healing. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder what we're going to see different from Orange Team this game because they need a way to really shut down that Zoro and Comfy. And with them banning Mean Look Umbreon, there's only so many, you know, other options that they can pick. But we're going to see what they're going to decide to go with in Game 2. Game 2 is now underway. Zoro going back into the jungle, of course. Comfy again with another, you know, weak laner. It's going to be Comfy and Pikachu. But the other one was weaker because it was a Magikarp. But at least Magikarp evolves into Gyarados and it can go crazy. But Pikachu needs to, you know, keep that distance. Neither of them can really soak up hits. And up against a Saru Ledge and a Blastoise. So this is going to be really... Interesting. Is Blastoise stacking? I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I do like seeing some um, Cerulege gameplay. They should be going to Psycho Cut this game. Uh, Bitter Blade isn't really a good move. Unless you're playing against Phalanx, maybe. But even even still, it's like you, you want to go Psycho Cut, you know? I'm um, sorry you guys can hear my Discord notifications. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, can, can Fable make it out alive? Yes, they can. And of course, oh, we're going to see Zoro and the Comfy rotating bot lane and leaving the Pikachu in top lane. Okay, so this Zoro literally can't do anything without Comfy. Holy. Like, I know they're a duo, but taking the Comfy with you and leaving Pikachu in top lane by themselves is some, it's very interesting. I mean, it's a good push nonetheless, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, usually you'll send, like, you know, the Mage into top lane, but just like the jungler and the um, support are rotating into bot lane, so... It's not bad, but they're leaving a Pikachu. And it's looking like Zoro might get taken out. Ooh, Espion, that was a bad eject. They're playing too aggressive. Can they escape? Oh, the Wolf of the Crustle. And Glacier will secure the last hit. Okay, honestly, excuse me. The Dragon Knight noticing that Zoro is just hard pushing um, bot lane. Go into jungle invade. That's that's a good decision. So now Dragon Knight's going to be online a lot earlier than um, usual. Where's the Zoro? Okay, they're just getting their stacks in. Okay, while this is all happening, let's, let's take a dive into Orange Team's VC. Okay, here I come. I'm just like, like, oh, help. Help! No. What? Just because one and no, no one told him. Yeah, I'm kind of like not in range. I'm not going to reach him. You're, nah, you're actually taking this the piss again. Yeah, he's gone. He's up there. <sighs> I wasn't in range, so I don't know what you wanted to do. No, not you. I figured it Fuck you want me to do, bro. I was on cooldown. Bro, like... Bro, like what? Like what? <laughs> oh. Nothing, nothing. There, yeah, there you go. Shut the fuck up, then. No, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying, like, it's piss taking. It was one Oh, Zika's level you... 8, and I'm level 5. I'm Okay, so Orange Team are severely demoralized. You can even hear it in their voices. First game, they were energetic. They were alive. You know, they really wanted to win this. And now, you can hear they're kind of just, you know, upset with how this match is going. Honestly, I don't think they're doing too bad. But if you look at the level difference, I mean, the level difference isn't too, too bad. But they need to get the ball rolling. Okay, Blastoise is finally online. So maybe this will help boost their confidence a little bit. What Reggie is it? It's only Reg Ice. So they don't need to make that push. But we're going to see how things are going to shape out. And also, I said um, Psycho Cut is the better move. And they, they've gone for the better blade. I mean, they couldn't hit me anyways. But uh, Espion tried to get the last hit on that. He ejects out, but still gets caught. But Blastoise is here now. 
Hydro Pump secure, maybe. Dragonite's coming in. Ooh. If Blossom is used Surf and then Dra Dragonite slammed down, I think they could have team wiped and secured the, uh, the Reg Ice. Okay, the rest of the team's pulling up. Comfy Pops to Unite. Pikachu's busy with the Reggie Aleki. Clefable getting get a Duncan. Gonna get another stack. They need that Zoroark. There's someone needs to take out the Zoroark. Where's the Gravity? Gravity any moment now? There we go. Okay, Zoro's on cooldown as well. Oh, good access all by the, by the cross, but Zoro's gonna be able to clean up. They're all low. Yeah, starts off with the Blast Toys. Okay. These are some really... Oh, that's a huge unite by the Cerule Edge. Okay, Zoroark's forced to retreat. The gravities from Clefable aren't the best. You, you need to wait for Zoroark to, like, engage on you. I know they're trying to predict it, but they haven't predicted anything so far. Okay, that one wasn't bad. That one wasn't bad. We need more gravity similar to that if they want to take out the Zoroark. Yeah, like that. That's, that's their best one yet. Catching him mid-combo uh, mid is the best thing they can do. Okay, and Glacier gets taken out. Pikachu popping the Unite move. Going to get a ton of damage in. And Dragonite does get taken out. It is now a 3v4. Oh, Zoroark's going crazy now. Yikes. They're struggling to deal with the Zoroark again. Cerule Edge. No Unite move to work with. Zoroark gets a triple kill. Blastoise, no Unite move either. Yeah, gonna have to let the 40 dunk go in. Okay, it was Pikachu that dunked. I do believe the Clefable and... Not Clefable, sorry. The Comfy and the Zoroark are stacking. So it was a good thing that Pikachu got their Unite move. Can they kill? The Berry's there? The dragon that really wants the Zoroark dead. Oh, but the second berry is going to enable him to escape. Zoroark is really, you know, getting away with a lot of these interactions unpunished as well. On one HP, Comfy pops to Unite. Okay, won't have the Unite move for the um, the top objective fight. Okay, Dragonite now knows that Zorak's dead because he did pop out the bush. Gets CC'd by um, E-Speed. Okay, Zorak takes out one pops to Unite move. Oh my god, no one's taking him out. Oh my god. Okay, Blastoise is finally here. Needs to surf. Okay, CC's him. Espeon. Okay, finally takes him out. But Comfy is going to find a new host and that is going to be the Crustle. Blastoise, I don't know what that eject was. I'm not going to lie. They tried to make something happen. He wants to, he wants that Glacier on there, but you're not going to be able to catch up, I think. Yeah. Especially with the Pikachu there. They were, they were running side by side for a second. I don't know if you guys caught that. The Blastoise and the Pikachu were running side by side for a little bit. Okay, Reggie, look at half health. Okay, Pikachu's going to start attacking this bot Reggie. What is it? Regirock. Okay. Our orange team going to try and push this Regilecki in. It looks like they want to. But they need to be careful. I mean, orange team have no Unites, but the only Unite they can work with um, is Clefable and d -Nite. And that's not really game-changing. Happy Beam, not going to hit anyone as well. Uh, d -Nite's not really doing much damage. Getting stunned to death as well. Yeah, they need to back up. I don't know why they even went for that push. Yeah, they had no game-changing Unites on their team. Oh, my God. Espeon gets caught. That was an amazing wall by the Crosser, by the way. Oh. The Crosser just get juked out by, by an Espeon. Oh, another amazing wall by the Crosser. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be game over for that Espeon. Okay, Blast Toys, what's the plan? Don't go for that dunk. Okay. Needs to just surf or just CC that Zorak anyway. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Pikachu is in top lane, dunking 50 points though. Who else is up there? Oh, the Glacier on two, so that's going to be 100 in their top lane. And just like that, purple team are in the lead. No way Zoro, Zoro secures this. Good surf by the Blast Toys, but Dragonite stopped hitting it. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That was a huge surf by the Blast Toys, but then Dragonite just stopped attacking um, the Reggie. Oh, now they're going to fall like Dominoes. That's two. Cerule Edge, can we make a difference here? Oh, he pops an eject. You guys know me. I don't like popping ejects before um, the Ray fight because now you wouldn't be able to uh, reposition. Zora almost getting a Penta, holy. Okay. Clefable. Clefable needs to... When, do, when does Clefable get Gravity Plus? Because Gravity Plus is going to help out a lot. I think that's Gravity Plus right there. Yeah. Okay, that's going to help out a lot with dealing with the Zoro. I think that was Gravity Plus anyways. I'm not too sure. Because um, it's a wider AoE. Yeah, there we go. Catches him out. Forces him to pop the full hill. Dragonite's coming in. Oh, but Dragonite's just going in and just swinging. <laughs> I respect it. Okay, can they survive? Okay, Zorak not going to engage on them. Espeon trying their best to survive. Oh, gets caught. Stored power is not going to enable them to escape. Okay, Dragonite's coming back in the Waiting on pad. Okay, nice. Okay, can they take him out here? The CC? Oh my god, Clefable's not on him yet. Oh, D-Knight tried to target the Clefable, um, the Comfy. 
Are they shooting Ray? Uh, they were trying to. They were tickling it. They were tickling Ray. Oh, Cerulea's gonna get taken out here. Okay, Focus Band is going to pop and they're gonna get a bit of heals from the Bitter Blade. No way Zora reached, that's crazy. All right, Espion's gonna get taken out again. What's happening here in the Ray Pit? They just, they just keep getting taken out. They need to go for a backup or something. They know they're not behind by much. But they're just engaging in team fights and they're just dying one by one to the Zoro. Yeah. There's no way Sarulaj can make it in in time. Yeah, the Zoro comfy duo is going to reign supreme once again. Sarulaj, can they break any shields here? There's a Phantom Force. Not gonna hit anyone. Bear Blade's just doing negative damage as well. Yeah, it's not looking good. And here come even more dunks from the Zoroark. Okay, now we from the Espeon. Can they take him out? Okay, finally. <laughs> I don't know how many Unites it took, but they finally took out the Zoroark. And the Comfy Duo. That's three death for the purple team. 15 seconds left on the clock, so they literally can't do anything. If only the game was a bit closer, maybe they could have tried to go for some dunks. Really, like ult in the air. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, that's going to be GG's for the, for the second match. There you have it, the second match has been completed. Zoro getting 14 kills that time around. Comfy with the 19 assists. Let's take a look at the stats. Okay, getting even more damage this time. Last round, I think it was 77. This time it is 89k. Comfy getting 68k healing as well. I'm surprised that Clefable seemed to be struggling. They only dropped 77k healing for their team. And honestly, Zorak was just able to just get away with everything. Chat. Well, chat YouTube. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this is the best Zoro Comfy Duo. And if not, let me know if you think you're a better Zoro Comfy Duo. And maybe we will revisit this episode uh, and make a sequel for it. Champions, that is it for the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you want to be involved in the next one, all you have to do is smash that subscribe button and join the Discord. Link to that will be in the description. But without further ado, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.